Good morning. It's Friday, August 5th, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for your journey today. Our devotion today is entitled, Five Lessons I Learned from My Pressure Washer. And our scripture is Proverbs chapter 11. The fruit of a righteous person is a tree of life, and one who harvests souls is wise. You get a lot of think time when pressure washing. My machine is old and leaky and was never a fun ride, but it works, and it forces me to take note of what it teaches. These are five thoughts about sharing your faith with others. Number one is to go slow. It doesn't help a pressure washer's performance to jiggle the wand. You may think so, but it then becomes more about your technique than about what the machine was designed to do, clean thoroughly. In sharing your faith with others, commit to taking on a project without jiggling. Your friend's soul is worth it. Number two, remember what does the work. Like going slow in number one, letting the machine do the work will yield the best results. The machine is a combination of your witness and willingness. Sharing what has happened to you when God got through to your mind, heart, and soul is what the Holy Spirit will use to reach another human soul. It's never about fancy gimmicks. It's all about God's love and our willingness to love others as He does. Number three, Keep the gas and oil full. If the gas tank empties, you're going nowhere in the cleaning business. And if you don't keep clean oil lubricating the engine, your machine may just burn up, which again means you're done. Think of the gas as prayer. As the engine depends upon gasoline to keep going, so your witness depends on an uninterrupted stream of contact with God's Holy Spirit. And think of the oil as the reflecting pool God uses to help you remain functioning and not overtaxed by the burden of the work. My car is 10 years old and it's approaching 200,000 miles. It still runs smoothly, quietly, and efficiently because I missed zero oil changes. And number four, don't make any light passes over hard stains. There's a tendency to rush through any job, skipping over the hard stuff, just to get it done. When you're sharing Christ with the intention of helping another with his or her eternal soul, there are some things that will require much more attention than a simple exchange of information. Be ready to hit the hard stains. Some of them may be the tipping point of a new soul born into the kingdom. And then number five, break before you break. My pressure washer always seems ready to serve, except when I make him work a whole day. When that machine gets tired and overheated, it's best to let him rest and cool down a bit. I've learned to work in one to two hour shifts and give the machine a rest, along with the operator. When sharing your faith, remember you are in the stressful arena of eternal soul matters. Responsibility can make any machine overheat. You're no different, and God wants you whole and useful and joyful. Too much strain without appropriate breaks can lead to a breakdown. For you today, one of the best lessons I've learned is a pressure washer is not much good in storage. Unless it's used, it's going to rust. It's going to need a lot of repair before it's ready to help again. Same thing with your witness. It was designed to be at hand and always at the ready to lend a hand to someone else's soul cleansing. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.